What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I missed in my SketchUp 2026.1 release video. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so this new migrate preferences option in the release notes. And I think this is going to get updated with a little bit more information, but the migrate preferences in the release notes is actually not something that you access inside of the preferences window, um, which is what I thought would happen. Um, instead, the way that you access this migrate preferences you do, is you do it from the file menu. And it does a lot more than transferring over your preferences, like your keyboard shortcuts and things like that. What this actually does is solves a problem that people have been asking about for a long time. Specifically, how do I transfer my workspace settings over from an older version of SketchUp, right? Because that's an issue we've had for a while. Like say this is your SketchUp 2025, you've got a custom workspace in here. You've got a tray over here on the left-hand side, you've got a tray on the right-hand side, you've got options up at the top right here for different extensions, right? I've got Profile Builder, some Fredo 6 extensions. Um, anyway, I've got my workspace kind of set up the way that I want it. Well, the issue is when you jump over into SketchUp 2026, this stuff can kind of like pop up everywhere, right? If you've done the migrate extensions, tool, which is pretty cool. And so when you transfer over to the new version, even if you do the migrate extensions, right, which we've talked about in previous videos, you get a workspace that looks like this, which looks nothing like that workspace that you had in SketchUp 2025. So you have to go in here and like reset up your workspace. Well, the new migrate preferences actually isn't under window preferences. It's under file migrate preferences. And so I believe it does bring over your file locations and your keyboard shortcuts, but it does a lot more than that. So when you click on file migrate preferences, what it's going to do is it's going to go find that version. You have an option of versions back to SketchUp 2023. You can pick a version and when you click on migrate, it's going to bring over your viewport customizations that you had before. Now, in this case, we have a bunch of extensions that weren't loaded in SketchUp um, in SketchUp 2025. So those stay in the same place, right? Because there wasn't anywhere else for them to go. So in this case, I'm going to close out of those. But notice what this did is this brought in my tray locations, my toolbar locations, um, the toolbar locations for any extensions I have loaded. So notice how at the moment I don't have Fredo scale or flex tools loaded. So um, I would have to load those in in order for it to put them somewhere, obviously. So I can drop those in here real quick. But overall, what this does is this basically remembers where everything was from an older version and then puts them in that location in the newer version. So this solves the problem of I've switched over to a new version and now my toolbars are all over the place. So I assume, and I don't have any information on this one, so I'm just kind of guessing, but it looks like this is just going to take whatever the last state was in SketchUp 2024, 2025, or uh, 2023, and it will just use that as the location data for this workspace now. But that's really valuable because you don't have to waste a whole bunch of time going through and resetting up your workspace every time time that you uh, update to a new version of SketchUp. So say I drop all of this out and go back to just like a, a raw space, like so, like just a simple non-customized um, workspace. If I go back to Migrate Preferences right here, click on Migrate, it'll bring that right back in again. So now you can use this to migrate your old workspace um, setup to a new version of SketchUp, which is something that I'm really excited about. All right, so first off, I apologize for missing that. That was something that uh, I, I didn't understand in the release notes, um, but I wanted to make a dedicated video about it because I do think it solves a problem that we've had for a long time. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this feature? Is it something that you use? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.